the octonaut and the snot sea cucumber. I know. Wazzy, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Octomorts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to. Oh, my. What was that shaking, Captain? It felt like some sort of tremor, Peso. An underwater tremor, to be exact. It's caused when the bottom of the ocean starts to shake. And now our ship is tilted. Quasi, Tweak, let's get the octopod standing straight again. Hi, Captain. Sure thing, Cap. There's our problem. The shaking damaged one of the octopod legs. No worries, Cap. We'll have the ship fixed faster and you can say Buncha Munchy Crunchy Carrots. Buncha Muncha Crunchy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what be making that strange sound? Look, over there. It's a. it's a. it's a slimy pink pudding. I'm pretty sure it's a sea cucumber. Ow! 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 <gasps> Rock must have fallen on it during the tremor. Ow. <laughs> We're gonna help you, little fella. We need Peso down here, right away. For medical duty, sir. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here to help you feel better. You wanna fix the octopod cap? Thanks, Tweak. This is a type of animal called a sea cucumber. Woo -hoo, you really are slippery. So you think my patient is some sort of sea cucumber? Snort sea cucumber, actually. Oh, it's not a sea cucumber. Yes, it is a sea cucumber. Snort, to be exact. Dr. Shellington, either it is a sea cucumber or it's not. It's snort. It's not. No, not. It's not. It's snort. Snort. You see how it's covered in slippery, slimy snot? Being covered in slimy snot makes it easy to slip away from anything that tries to catch it. And that's why it's called a snot sea cucumber. Oh, snot sea cucumber. No, I mean, yes, I think. <sighs> it's okay, little Slippy. It doesn't look too bad. I'll just bandage you up and you'll be as good as new. Please hold still, or I won't be able to... No! Come here now. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oops. Whoa! Slippy? Slippy, are you under here? Hello? Slippy, where are you? <gasps> A trail of slimy snot. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. 
That's not good, Captain. A snot sea cucumber needs water to breathe. She can't be out of the water for too long. All Octonaut hands on deck. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. And her name is Slippy. Avast, you slimy critter! Come to Quasi! Our snot sea cucumber was last seen sliding into an octo chute. Aye, she's a slippery one, all right. According to my calculations, we have less than five minutes to get her back into the water so she can breathe. Octonauts, we must find her now. She's probably looking for water, so search in places where there's water. <laughs> We're running out of time! Oh no! What are we going to do? Hmm. There's only one thing we can do, Peso. If we can't bring the snot sea cucumber to the ocean, let's bring the ocean to the snot sea cucumber. Huh? We'll flood the octopod. You mean fill it with water? Yow! Hi there, Captain. It's all fixed. Attention all octonauts. Put on your diving helmets, opening all hatches. We're flooding the octopod. Yep, faster than you can say, flooding the octopod? In 10 seconds, the octopod will be completely filled with water. Nine. Hang on, Slippy. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Wherever she is, at least she can breathe. But she's still hurt. There has to be somewhere we haven't looked. Right over your head. Over my head? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe not, but there she be, right over your head. Oh, yes. Gently now. We don't want to frighten her again. It's all right, Slippy. We're not going to hurt you. Uh Gotcha! This won't hurt a bit. Good as new. You should heal nicely. And here's a sticker for being my... my... my slipperiest patient ever. Oh, thank you! Great. Now let's get you back out into the ocean. And the ocean back out of the octopod. Well, at least things are back to normal. Um, sort of. Yep, Cap. Looks like we'll be picking seaweed out of the ship for a long time. But it was worth it. <laughs> ah. That was the last piece. But there's still one missing. Where could it be? <laughs> Slippy, come on now. That's not the way you play with puzzles. It's not. Well, it's not. Oh, 
Snot. <laughs> Snot. <laughs> the octonauts and the baby dolphin. <laughs> Nothing tastes better than a carrot fresh out of the garden, Tunip. One for you, me hearty. <laughs> These vines are perfect for swinging. You should try it, Tweet. No thanks, Quasi. I'm happy just pulling up carrots. <sighs> That's not very exciting. There's got to be some action around here somewhere. <laughs> <sighs> Captain, I think I'm going to take the gut bee out for a spin because... Uh, because I need to, um... Let me guess. Practice your driving skills. Ah, that's it. Uh, practice my driving skills. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Dolphins! Those dolphins are fast, even the babies. But I reckon I can catch up with them. Whoa! Woohoo! So long, dolphins! Always nice to take the gut bee out for a little excitement. <laughs> Looks like you brought back a friend. A friend? <gasps> a baby dolphin? Huh. He must have followed you inside, Quasi. Oh, he's just a baby. Poor little matey. He needs his mother. And we're going to find her. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut B near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the guppy slipstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, little matey. It must have happened when I drove between you and your mum. I wonder why he keeps whistling like that. Every dolphin makes a different sound that other dolphins know. Dolphin mothers know their babies by their special sounds. So, we can use this baby dolphin's sounds to help us find his mother. Tweak. We'll need the microphone and recorder. Got it, Cap. First, we'll record his sounds and then we'll play it while we search. And his mummy will recognize the special sound. Ready, set, whistle. Come here, little matey. Don't be afraid. He likes you, Quasi. Why don't you try? Um, give us a nice whistle now. Perfect. We've got our recording for the search. Shellington, Dashy, into the gup E. Peso, into the gup A with me. We'll spread out and search for the dolphin's mother. And Quasi, you stay here and babysit. I can. Oh, what? Did you say stay here and babysit? Well, you're the best one for the job, Quasi. Me? A babysitter? Yes. The baby dolphin really seems to like you. Keep a close eye on him. But, Captain, I... Quasi, open the octo hatch. Let's split up so we can cover more ground. Aye, aye, Captain. Don't worry, little matey. They'll find your mother. All we have to do is wait. <sighs> Waiting's not very exciting, is it? <gasps> Uh-oh. 
Come on, matey. We're going outside to play. Ah, oh, this looks like a good place. Well, go ahead now. Play. But don't go far, little matey. Yeah! <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, you got me again. A seashell? You want to play fetch, do you? Mighty fast little dolphin. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> what is it, little matey? <laughs> Careful, matey. Those lobster claws can really pinch. Yeah. Go snap somewhere else. Okay. Here you go, little dolphin. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's race to the other side of the rocks, eh? Ready, set, go! Ah, dolphins! Excuse me, do you recognise this sound? Nope, it uh, doesn't sound familiar, but earlier today we saw some other dolphins back that way. Maybe they'll know the sound. Thanks. I hope we can find them, Captain. Never heard that whistle before, I'm afraid. Oh. But I did see a dolphin looking for her baby a few minutes ago. She was on the other side of that reef. Oh, thanks. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. Captain, we have a lead on the mother dolphin. She's on the other side of the reef. Good work, Octonauts. Let's go. Add a dolphin. Now try this. Hey, where'd he go? Oh no, where is he? Little matey, come back to Quasi. Where are you? Look, over there. Um. Excuse me, is this the sound of your baby? Yes, it is. I've been looking everywhere for him. Do you know where he is? We'll take you to him. Follow our slipstream. Oh, thank goodness. Barnacles to Quasi. We found the baby dolphin's mother and we're on our way back to the octopod. Uh, great. Me and the baby will be right here waiting for you when you get back. Barnacles out. Oh, this is terrible. I can't find him anywhere. Mmm, <laughs> lunch is served. <laughs> oh, no, lunch is cancelled. He's gone, and you're safe. You can't just go off on your own like that. Stay close to me, matey. Huh? <laughs> it's your mother! Oh, my baby. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for keeping my baby safe. Just doing my job as an octonaut and a babysitter. Come on, it's time for us to go. Go on with your mum now. For me? Thanks, little matey. Goodbye, and thank you. Good work, octonauts, and especially you, Quasi. Thanks, Captain. <sighs> this belongs with me other treasures. I'll remember you always, little matey. <sighs> the 
the Octonauts and the Undersea Storm. Ah, there, that should do it. The guppies all fixed up again. I tweak. She looks better than ever. And take a look. I added this special turbo button. It'll give you an extra burst of power if you're in an emergency. Aye, or a race. I can't wait to take her out for a little test drive. Open the octo hatch, me hearty! Uh, okay. But, Quasi, use that turbo button only in... Sure, this thing works. Activating Octoscope. Hmm. It's a big storm, and it's heading straight for us. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have to get the octopod ready before this storm gets here. If a storm is big above water, it'll be just as big below water, too. Dashi, let us know when the storm gets closer. Aye, aye, sir. Peso, close all the outer portals. Aye, aye, Captain. Tweak, pull in the octopod arms. Aye, aye, sir. And Quasi, start turning off the engines so we can... Quasi? Hmm, where is Quasi anyway? Uh, he's test driving the gut B. Outside! Oh, it's nothing. Stick close to your family. Whoa! That's a big family. Where's everybody going? Out of the reef to deeper water. That way we'll be safe from the big storm. Big storm? What big storm? The one that's heading this way, mister. If there's a storm coming, I'd better make sure everyone in the reef is safe. So long, matey! Yow! You sure have a big grip for a little lobster. Thanks, mister. See ya. Mom! Mom! 
He said I have a big grip. That's nice, dear. Marty, can you hear me? This is urgent. There's a big storm on the way, and you've got to get back to the octopod before it gets here. Hi. Just let me do a quick check of the reef to make sure everyone's safe. Don't worry, Captain. I'll get back before the storm gets here. Captain, the storm is coming quickly. It's only ten minutes away. Quasi, we'll keep the Octa hatch open for as long as we can. Thanks, Captain. Yow! Sea urchin in trouble! Away. Aye, aye. Gotcha. Eight minutes. Almost done here. All done. I'm heading home. Farewell. Only seven minutes. Can you hear me? Get back to the octopod now. Can you hear me? Captain, I... Only five minutes till the storm gets here. Ah. Twig, get the Gup C ready. I'm going after him. Be ready to close the octa hatch the second we're back inside. I'm almost with you, Quasi. <sighs> Toe line, go. Got it. Captain, only three minutes until the storm is here. We'll make it. The tow line. It might just work. Captain, only one minute left. Thanks, Dashy. The water's starting to come in the octa hatch. We have to close it. No, Twig. Wait. Keep the octa hatch open. Coming in. Stand by to close the octa hatch. We'll be home in ten. Nine. Eight. Hold on tight, seven, little lobster. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You gave us a real scare. If it weren't for this little lobster's big grip. Yow! We wouldn't have made it back. Oh, it was nothing. Hey, this is a great place to stay safe in a storm. Hmm. That was some test drive, Quasi. Looks like I have a lot of work to do. But first, would anybody like some hot chocolate? Aye, aye. Me too. Extra marshmallows for me. 